Uh, this, I got to talk about this because there's so many opinions on this, and this was just interesting to hear from both sides. Uh, Conway the Machine called out Funk Flex and New York DJs for gatekeeping. So let's go over the article. Conway the Machine is apparently sick of New York's DJs. The Griselda Records co-founder took to Instagram Live to air his grievances against Funk Flex and other big Apple DJs for what he believes is out-of-touch gatekeeping. So I'm not going to play the video because there's a lot of cussing in it. Um, and a lot of it's just repetitive kind of stuff. So I'm going to read the the quote on it. He said, New York, in my opinion, man, you got to do, you got to get them old guys out of the way like Flex and them guys, man. You know what I mean? Them gatekeepers, you got to get out of there, out of there, man. They're trying to dictate like who you know what I'm saying. Like, come on, bro. Good thing I need, I don't need y'all. Because if I needed y'all, Y'all would be fake stifling my groove. Okay, so before we get into Flex's response, one, if you don't need somebody, why do you care? That's the thing. That's kind of contradiction. You know, it's like contradicting. Um, if you don't need somebody, you shouldn't really care about what they're doing. If you're doing good on yourself, cool. On the other side, I agree with Conway. A lot of these guys are older. They're out of touch. Right. And hip hop is a youth type of thing. You got to be more in touch with the newer artists. And yeah, I'm not a fan of like no disrespect to Angie Martinez. She's about to start her own podcast, and it's like, girl, you've been doing this shit since Tupac was alive. Like, come on, just get like open yeah. the way for other people, man, to to yeah, start their shit. Right. Like, you're starting a podcast now. Like, come on, man, you've been in this shit 35 years. Like. Don't you get, like, aren't you done? Like, go go transition to something else or do something else. Like, maybe be executive producer for hip-hop documentaries or something, like, yeah, something yeah, else. No, but now know. she started a podcast, and guess what's going to happen? All the artists are going to go to her, and it's been, yeah. she's been doing this shit forever. And it's just like, you know, that's no disrespect to her. She does great interviews, but it's like, man, hang it up at one point, man. If I become 50, 60 years old, I would hope I'm not doing this still. I would hope I'm, I'm doing maybe behind-the-scenes stuff or helping other people try to come up or something like that. Um so I understand Conway's frustration, but the, at the end of the day, too, it, Conway needs to look at it, and a lot of people are not going to like me saying this, especially if you're a fan of Conway and Griselda. The music that they make is old school. I don't know how old Conway is. Let me check. I'm just going to make sure. Let's see how old Conway the Machine is. That's what I was about to say. It's, it's kind of like... Conway the Machine is 40 years old, same age as Lloyd Banks. Mm-hmm. If you're making old style music, hip hop, boom bap, and you're mad it's not blowing up, that's really on you. It's not really the DJs. Right, right. DJs usually play what's hot. They sometimes break artists. They help out. Right. But let's be honest here. Boom bap, New York hip hop is not what's in. That's just as much as people I know people want to people want to like the Banks album is going to be more New York style. Um, even in the Banks interview, which I really was was kind of disappointed that he did this, but I get it. You know, when Trinidad James said New York Radio doesn't even sound like New York, and then Banks decided to scrap a whole 18-track album mixtape. With all those with artists, Lil Yo Durk, Gotti. Yo Gotti. He scrapped all that, and it was a trap-sounding album. Yeah. Which would have, Banks on Trap what Beats to me, I love. It. I love. I know Banks I know Banks doesn't like that. He said himself, I want to go back to New York style. I get it. Oh, man, he needs to stay on it. Nah, because we're younger, so it's it's different, you know. Like I can see why Banks likes the other style. Yeah, no. I think this should be a balance of yeah, it. Yeah, just kind of like mix it up a little bit. But know? I get where Banks was coming from in the interview. But that's what I mean. That boom bap New York style is just it's old, man. It's just it's people don't want to listen to that. It is what it is. And you yeah. can't you can't get mad and be like, Oh, Funk Flex is old school. He doesn't he's he's too old. Nah, even the newer guys that come in, they're not really mm -hmm. gonna fuck with it, man. Let's just that's just the reality of the situation, man. Um so it's 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 a, it's a weird you know, it's a weird kind of complaint yeah. to have, man. Um, and the job's DJs to play what's hot, what's, you know, what people are listening, what's, you know, all over. The, and that's that's not to say Griselda isn't hot and they're yeah. not doing great. They're doing great in what they're doing. But it's like that style can only get you so far, man. You know, like, I don't know if it's coming back. Maybe it'll make a comeback. But right now, that's not the style, man. Let's just be honest. That's not the style. Who's selling records? Who's doing it's usually the trap. Uh, drill music. A lot of these New York, newer New York artists are doing drill music, like Pop Smoke was doing. He wasn't mm -hmm. doing drill music, but well, technically New York drill, if you want to call it. Right. Um, 
that's the style, man. It just is what it is, man. I don't know yeah. what. The, so Flex responds in a disrespectful way, of course. Um, Flex was was. He's right about. It. By the way, Flex, if this is true, I don't know if this is all true, but what Flex said here kind of makes sense, man. I'm kind of a little bit. I I'm leaning to both sides. Like I I'm kind of I understand. I agree with Conway saying these people are old. Then you get the fuck up out of here, right? Because right. there's only so I don't much. Disagree with him. Right? Yeah, they're they've been staying in this lane for too long, man. Okay. Yeah. You guys had your time shine, do your thing, yeah. move on to something else, man. If you're still DJing at 87 and, and 90 years old, like what the hell, man? Come on, move on. Angie Martinez. Ebro, all these people are just, you know, they're too old, man. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I get it, whatever. You can have a lane for that, but for the most part, let the New York, I mean, hip-hop is youth-driven. Let the youth, new new people come in. Um, then I agree with, you know, Flex's side of things is, hey, man, you're doing old-school music, so let's go with Flex. Flex responded to Conway Instagram Live in the comments. He said, ha, 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 so let's begin. You're managed by Rock Nation, which is Jay-Z. Signed to Shady Records, Eminem. Distributed by Interscope Records, major label, laughing emojis. You and your team have had a features have had features from Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, J. Cole, Jadakiss, Travis Scott, French Montana, and more. Wasn't you on Kanye West's Donda album? I'm going to give you the advice Paul Rosenberg should have gave you. You're a 40-plus bars rapper, sorry lyricist, that has had every resource possible. If you're not happy with your career as of today, with all them cone signs, I think you have peaked, my guy. What you think? You're only going to take this as disrespect because truth might be a bit much for you. Signed, Grandpa slash Wheelchair Bandit slash Warm Milk General. I might need a podcast. What y'all think? No, please, Flex, don't do podcast. And then he continues on in his caption. He says, ha-ha, you still up? You said you wanted to debate, my friend. Let's start here. Remember, you started this. Uh, it's me, Grandpa, Wheelchair Bandit, <laughs> Warm Milk General, and any other... Rapper wants to smoke tonight. Step up and get your cranium checked. Cracked. Yeah, Flex ain't. Flex keeping it real right there. Straight up, man. He just said it like straight. I mean, I don't know if he had all those opportunities. I can I can see. I mean, I'm going based on what yeah, he said. Whatever. Let's just so, go up. He did, he did have yeah. a lot of opportunities. You're 40 years old. If you're rapping about lyrics, bars, some people don't want to hear that, man. That's only a certain demographic of hip-hop audience. Correct. If you're getting mad, you don't have hit records, and it's not... You have to make those type of records. You can't force somebody to like a certain style and make the world like that. That just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But Conway's right in the fact that if Flex never plays these songs, nobody's going to hear them. So Flex needs to do his part as a DJ. You have to play these records, let it people try and hear those records. Yeah, but you can't... The DJs, the DJs are not going to play... This shit is like not working. The DJs... The hell's going on? It's Whatever, going. it's probably touching them. Anyway, so the, D, the, D, the DJ is not going to be able to play a bar-for-bar bar record on the radio. No, you can test that out, man. That's why you throw those records out. I'm not saying every single hour. Yeah, yeah, you know. of course, but it feels weird without hearing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't just... I wouldn't want to hear it. I want to hear something that's like... Nah, I mean, there's, there's a mixture. I like bars, but I don't like it I like it. I'm not saying I don't. I don't like it consistently consistently or like on the radio nobody likes it and if you just like bars consistently then you you you're missing out on so much on hip-hop i i disagree with that i like everything in hip-hop yeah. i've never been against really anything i'm open to everything i feel like if you're only into bars and boom bap you're old head and you just don't want to try new things out and you think these rappers can't rap blah 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 when a lot of these rappers can rap their ass off man Lil baby can rap don't don't get it fucking twisted you guys say he's mumble rapper this and that ask kid 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 himself who spits his ass off Said, Lil Baby can fucking rap. Don't even yeah. get that twisted. A lot of these new rappers can rap. You guys just, oh, it's auto-tune, is this? And just completely throw it away and never even listen. Like, that's not, you know. You ever, there's everything. Everything in hip-hop is great if you consume it a certain amount. If you're consuming just boom bap, you're old school. You need to move on from that a little bit and adapt to something new. If you're just consuming trap and hip-hop and auto-tune, then you're not respecting the old older generation. You're not respecting the lyricism. You need to consume some of that. Um, there's a balance, man. I consume all of it. I like Lloyd Banks. I'm excited for Banks, but then I get excited for Lil Dirk. I like everything in between. I'm not like, yeah, yeah. you know, I listen to West Side Boogie, and then I listen to whatever whatever dropped the other time. I don't remember all these albums that came out, but mm -hmm. I listen to everything, man. I like everything. I don't discriminate off of this and that now are there some artists i can't stand i can't listen to yeah big sean is one of those people whose yeah. voices i cannot get into montana uh for yeah frenchie <laughs> who else um what's another voice that uh that i don't like um 
Fuck, oh. I just remembered. Frenchie, Big Sean. Big Sean. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez is somebody I can't get into, and that's it. Sometimes you'll have artists you can't get into, but that's no disrespect to them in saying that they can't. Frenchie can't make music, so I am disrespecting him. But those other two, they're not, you know, they can make great music. It's just, I don't, I can't like that. That's all it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you tried it, but some of you just dismiss it completely and never listen to it. So that's the problem here. That's, that's, there's a gap now in hip hop. Hip hop has lasted so long. Now there's an old generation, there's a new generation, and they're butting heads. So I think I agree with both sides, honestly. It's mm -hmm. really hard to kind of choose a side on this. Because right, right. Flex is right in his own right. That music just isn't popping. It is, it, that's nothing he can do about that. He can't, he's not a magic DJ for the whole United States. He just waves a wand yeah, and everybody yeah, listens yeah. to it. He can't do that. Um, I mean, if he if he plays like that type of music consistently and just puts the music out, people are gonna get mad at him too, man. Exactly. DJ, and they're gonna be like, "All right, man, you yep. can't be a DJ here no more. Get the fuck out." Um. So Pete Pete Rock, and these are all old school. He responded to um, Flex, and he said, "Uh, you don't play a real artist no more. You talk shit like you better than everybody, and I believe all threats with real talent." <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was trying to move away from the mic, but I actually moved in. All threats with real talent and music were removed by plan out of the by plan out the way for that new shit to happen. You're an NY guy treating like any other NY artist who put in work like our career is over. You stop playing Wu Tang, you play no Griselda, nothing. Stop playing a lot of artists, then you judge motherfuckers and make fun of the fact that you control what you want when you are on the air. So much good music out there out here to be ignored and as a black dude treating other black talented people like they're beneath you you don't make beats or rap but you shit on an artist because you could and you stop supporting real hip-hop to cater to whatever got you in their pocket that's a suck of dj behavior when i was a dj on hot 97 and wbls i never fronted on an artist in hip-hop not playing their music i played everybody's shit even west coast shit he was fronting on that's why guys is upset because you shitted for no reason Black people are not supposed to treat each other like that. But these days, money will make somebody do anything. Always been a funny style dude from day one, only to front on guys later and run that mouth of yours playing whack shit. Flex, you do this in your own city to your own people and be nonchalant about shit laughing like it's a joke, SMH. So then he responded, clown alert. <laughs> uh, real Pete Rock hit slide. I have... Watch this guy give his opinion on me for about two years. He's one of my favorite DJs, producers, and MCs. I hope that some of your, of our mutual friends will understand that Goofy has been begging for smoke. So, yeah, he went on, on air on Hot 97 and just kind of called out. Um, I mean, listen, man. Uh, I think the part of the DJ is to play what's relevant, but also to find new talent and put new yeah. talent on. Of course. So if you're not doing any new talent and you're just playing what's hot, you're not doing your job. So Flex, I don't listen. I'm not even in New York, so I don't listen to Hot 97 like that. I really don't even check for Hot 97 anymore. As a new, new as a young person, I don't really check for Hot 97. No. Nah. I don't we don't really check for that shit, man. Um Hot 97 really isn't that 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 thing anymore to me. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you get played on Hot 97, cool. I respect Hot 97 as a platform. It's been it's cultivated hip hop. It's, it's been a great thing to build hip hop. Cool. Of course. But, you know, they're stuck for the most part in different ways, and then they, they gravitate towards this and that. So, Flex, if he's not doing his job playing newer artists, then yes, he has failed as a DJ. They are right. He is wrong, period. Yes. I don't know if he's doing that or not. If he's just playing what's hot, then yes, he failed as a DJ. If he's playing what's new and people aren't liking it, that's on the artist then. The music mm -hmm. just ain't hitting. Create right. something different yeah. and make it work. Um but there's also the thing of you can you can kind of force people to like a song if you play it enough. I've seen that happen. Shit, there are songs that I don't like first listen, but then I just keep fucking hearing and then eventually I just end up liking it because it just it's stuck in your head and it just keeps getting played. That happens. Yeah, I guess. So that's another way, but even then it's like, you know, do people actually like the song or was it because of how much fucking time has been forced for you to listen to it? Slippery True. slope, man. Um I agree with both sides, like I said. Flex needs to do his job as a DJ. Conway the Machine needs to create music that's more culturally relevant. No disrespect to him, but that boom bap stuff, it's great a little bit here and there, but to just constantly do that music, it's not in style. It just is what it is, man. You can't, you know, unless you're the hottest rapper, period, and you dictate what's hot, which is Drake right now. Drake is the only one that can kind of, you Thanks. know, 
do like, hey, if I do this, everybody's going to start moving to that route because Drake has still just had the torch. He's been dominating that long. Right. It just is what it is. Um, even Drake has had to kind of... Yeah, yeah, even he's not... Even he had to take some styles from people and kind of adapt to things. So everybody has to do it. So if you're stuck in your ways and you don't want to do it, then your music's not going to pop off. 